y'all it's your girl retro pinky finally it seems like it's been forever coming to you to film another video no it's not a hard video but it is a really cool video i told you guys i was going to be switching some things up on my channel and of course i'm going to have a haul video for you guys coming soon but today i decided to do a tag video and the first tag video i'm going to do today is the tmi tag questions video i'm also going to be shooting another video later maybe two videos so disclaimer if you see me in my, ho my hoodie again this is just all shot in one day but anyway, so we're going to get down this TMI tag. It is approximately 50 questions. So I'm going to try to run through this really, really quick. So this won't be a 50-minute video. And yeah, excuse my voice. I'm going a little hoarse, but we're going to work through it. So the first question is, what are you wearing? I am currently wearing my Duke University sweater with my round the house pants. And yeah, and the t-shirt underneath. Um, second question is, ever been in love? Yes, I've been in love before more than once actually uh ever had a terrible breakup yes i had a really really bad breakup one day we're gonna save that story for chit chat <laughs> um next video how tall are you i am five seven how much do you weigh i'm not answering that you never ask a lady how much she weighs unless you her doctor and you weigh her and you find out <laughs> uh next question any tattoos yes i do have tattoos any piercings i do have piercing my ears are pierced and i am thinking about getting my lip here is either here or here so let me know what you think about that in the comments down below i really want you guys opinion it said op otp i have no idea what otp is so and i forgot to google it before i started this video so we're gonna skip past that one your favorite show right now my favorite show is still law and order svu this season that currently you know was a little you know ups and downs for me but it's all in all, it's still my favorite show. Just like you don't give up on your favorite sports team just because they kind of lose a couple of seasons. You know what I'm saying? You keep riding with them. So, Law & Order SVU. My favorite band. Um, far as band, per se, my favorite band is a very old school group. They're called The Temptations. I am from Motown, but besides that, my favorite band would be The Temptations. Uh, next question, something you miss. Um, I miss my father a lot. My father passed away a couple years ago, and that's the one thing, the one person thing or whatever that I miss all the time, every day, is my father. Um, my favorite song. Um, favorite song that I rock out to a lot right now, so it is my favorite song, is the Nick Jonas Jealous. That's my jam. I should have been playing that song, but, you know, Pandora doing their thing. Um... Where was I? Uh, and I'm looking at them on my phone, so you see me looking down. I got the questions on my phone. Um, how old are you? I am 30 years old. I'll be 31 this year. Do I look it? I hope not. <laughs> my zodiac sign. I am a Cancer. Proud being a Cancer. I am a water sign, as they call it. Uh, quality you look for in a partner. Now, um, the biggest quality I look for in a partner is um honesty. I look to make sure if they're honest when we first meet. If you tell me a stupid lie about something stupid, then I know eventually when we get in a relationship, there's a pretty good chance you're telling me a lie about something big. So my thing is be honest. Even though sometimes honest, the honest truth might hurt, I prefer for you to tell me the honest truth now than to make tell me in the long run and it hurts 10 times more. So I look for honesty in a person. Um, my favorite quote is, too blessed to be stressed is my favorite quote. I love that. Basically, no matter what you're going through, you don't need to stress over you. Everywhere you go, you are blessed. And just remember that. Favorite actor? Oh, my goodness. My favorite actor, male actor, would have to be Denzel Washington because he can play many roles and take on many characters. And I haven't seen him play a bad role yet, so it would have to be Denzel Washington. My favorite color is pink. Come on, hits the retro pinky. It's pink, even though I'm not wearing pink today, but I am wearing blue with blue. Oh, I just realized how bad I sound. Um, what was I? Loud music or soft music? Have to be soft. I mean, I do like, you know, listen to some loud music, but my go-to music, as you can hear, is soft music. Um, where do you, I don't know, where do you go when you are sad? Um, one of the places that I go when I'm sad, and I've been doing this for a long time since I was a kid, there's actually two places. I'm going to give you both places. One of, and they're both kind of, might come off as kind of weird but the first place i go is my closet since i was a young girl when i get sad or upset about something i go in my closet it's a small space i'm in my own space i'm with my own thoughts i go sit in my closet 
And all and another place I go, I go to the bathroom. You can lock the door. It's private time. Nobody's gonna walk in on you. Unlike your closet, sometimes people walk in your room, bam, they see you. Nobody can just walk in the bathroom on you. So I go to the bathroom when I. That's the sad place that I go to. Um, how long do it take? How long does it take you to shower? A minimum of about twenty minutes. I've been on the shower until the hot water goes off. Ain't nothing like a good hot shower. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready every morning? Um, that depends. If I'm getting ready in the morning, um, of course, shower and everything. And if I'm doing a full face makeup, it's going to take me at least on top of my 20 minute or plus shower. Then a full face some makeup. Got to make sure the face is beat. And I got to make sure my hair is nice. Even though, you know, we just got to, you know, doing the same today. It's going to take me about an hour or, you know. So the full face beat, and if I'm not doing the full face beat, if I'm just throwing my hair up on ponytail, getting out of the shower, doing the ponytail, maybe a little lip gloss, it's gonna take me about 40 minutes. Um, what else? Have you ever been in a physical fight? I've been in several physical fights, but we're gonna save those stories also for chit chat because I've been in several, several. That's not a word. Several role physical fights. Um, a turn on, uh, a turn on for me is how a person carries themselves, how they're, their swag. That's a big turn on for me. How you carry yourself, how you conduct yourself, that is a turn on. Um, a turn off for me at the same time is also swag because the way you carry yourself can be a positive or a negative. So that's my turn on and my turn off. Uh, the reason why I joined YouTube, um, I'm gonna, well, one of the reasons why I joined YouTube was because I wanted to put myself out there to break out my shell. I've never really been a shy person, but at the same time, I've never been the type of person to put myself out there for the whole world to see. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is for the whole world to see. So I want to do that. And I also want to give me a chance to meet new people and, you know, for new people to meet me, to build, hopefully build friendships and relationship with my YouTube peeps, all that good stuff. Um, My fears. I have a definitely horrible fear of snakes and i don't mean just like when you go to the zoo and you go into the reptile part oh i don't like snakes first of all you're not getting me to the reptile part in the zoo because i'm not going in that area i make sure i know where exactly where that part is because i'm not going just in case one of the snakes happens to get out the cage and slip out the door i know you said it's not possible i don't care i'm still not going i don't even like watching snakes on tv at all. So I've never, no, I have never seen the movie Snakes on a Plane. Ironically, I have seen the movie Anaconda. And the reason why I seen the movie Anaconda, ironically, is because I was like, come on. That, this isn't real. And I watched it. And I pretty much, it was more so watching me. Because I would always duck up on the covers every time the music kind of got like the snake was going to come. So technically, Anaconda watched me. It was more so a dare to myself. Let's see if I can do it. But I felt horribly. Trying to watch Anaconda. Um, last thing that made you cry. Um, last thing that made me cry. Actually, I wasn't crying on the outside. I was crying on the inside. I was at a festival and my son kind of got away from me, you know. It was a big crowd and my son kind of kind of got away from me, even though it was only for not very long at all. Immediately we found him immediately. No, I'm not a bad parent. But my son kind of, you know, I couldn't, I didn't, couldn't spot my son. And I seriously, I went in instant panic. Well, I didn't cry on the outside because I had my other kids with me. And I didn't want them to panic, but I cried on the inside. Thank God we found him. And he wasn't, you know, really, he wasn't that far away. It was just a big crowd. And, you know, we'll save the rest of that for chit chat also. Um, meaning behind, no, last time you loved someone. Uh, right now, I love a lot of people right now. I have a family, so I love my kids, I love my husband, I love myself, I love my faith, I love my doggy, I love my parents, I love, I love, love, love. Hell, I love you. <laughs> Everybody deserves to be loved. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, the retro part stands for because I'm a retro girl. I love throwback stuff. I love, my favorite era is the 80s, but I love... I love the 80s style. I love the retro style. I love to just everything retro. That's my thing. That's my style. I really, really love it. So that's where the retro part come from. The pinky part came from because pink is my favorite color. And I was like, you know, I want to incorporate two of the things that I love into my channel name that are me. And retro pinky is me because, you know, you can associate me with pink a lot. Like I said, I'm not wearing it today, but I rock pink a lot, even if it's just on my lips. So that's kind of the meaning behind my YouTube name. Uh, last book you read. 
Um, I've been downloading more books than I've actually read. So the last full book that I read was Fifty Shades of Grey. That's the last book that I have read was Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, the book you are currently reading. I'm not currently reading the book, but I did download this book that I really want to start on. It's called Good Girls Don't Date Bad Guys. So that's the next book I'm going to be starting on. Um, last show you watched. The last show that I literally watched last night before I fell asleep was, uh, what was it? I Dream of Jeannie. Wasn't I Dream of Jeannie? Was it I Dream of Jeannie? I think it was I Dream of Jeannie. I've, I'm not talking to myself. There's someone sitting across from me, so I don't look like, who the hell is she talking to? I would think it was I Dream of Jeannie. We're going to go with I Dream of Jeannie for 100 dollars I Dream of Jeannie was literally the last show I watched. Um... What was it? The person you talk to. I talk to my hubby. <laughs> like I literally just talked to him. Um, oh, I sound so hoarse. Um, let's see, let's see where I'm at. Okay, number 35. I think we're almost through this thing. The relationship between you and the person you last text. Oh, who was the person I last text? Hmm. Um, actually, I last wow well i was in a kick last with somebody and it we're just friends uh we met over you now which i am on you now and i'll leave my uh information down below for you now so the last person that i text was somebody i was on you now with but that was like last night or something but yeah that's the last person i text um and if you don't know kick is just like texting without a phone number um what else favorite food my favorite food by far is chicken i love chickens i love chickens i love chickens i had chickens for dinner last night um place you want to visit i've always wanted to go to paris since as long as i can remember it's just something about paris the culture the feel the love of it i really want to visit paris and i'm going to make that happen in 2016 i, I promise um last place you were was this last place i were as far as out of town I guess we'll go with that one because the last place I was out of town might have been Ohio. I'm not sure. It's been a while. No, no, it was Ohio. I went to Cedar Point last year and uh, Cedar Point is a music park slash water park. So that's the last place I was. I went to Cedar Point to Cedar Point and, um, and Soap City. Okay. Um, do you have a crush? Yes, I think everybody has a crush, even if they don't admit to it. Is it getting dark in here? Should I cut more light on? I hope it's not getting dark. The sun is starting to go down, so if it's getting dark, I'm sorry. So I'm going to try to wrap this up for this video. Get too, too dark. Okay, Um, last time you kissed someone, last night. Uh, last time I kissed somebody was last night. Last time you were insulted. I don't get insulted very easily. I'm not trying to sound... You know, but I don't get insulted very easily. It takes a lot to insult me, so I don't get insulted easily. So honestly, I don't remember. Flavor, favorite flavor of sweet. My favorite flavor of sweet has to be strawberry. I love strawberry candy and just the sweet flavor of strawberry. Uh, what instrument do you play? I haven't played in a while, but I play violin. Um, favorite piece of jewelry. My favorite piece of jewelry would have to be my engagement ring. Will have to be my favorite piece of jewelry. I'm not wearing it now. But my favorite is jewelry has to be my gay's ring. Last sports you play. I, well, I play, I guess it's considered football. I was throwing the football. So football. And yes, I'm a girl who can throw. <laughs> um, last song you sang was Emily Sandy. Read all about it was the last song that I sang. Uh, favorite chat up line. I don't have a favorite chat up line, but I do have a favorite corny pickup line, which I don't use it on nobody and I don't want nobody using it on me, but it's like so corny. Is the one, are your feet tired? No, because you've been running through my mind all day. That's my favorite corny, retarded line. I don't want to get used on me, but it's just so corny. Um, And that's my phone, the ding-donging. Uh, have you ever used it? No, I have never used that line on anybody in a way of trying to pick them up. No, I've never used it. It's just corny. Last time you hung out with anyone, um... Over the weekend was the last time I hung out with somebody. It was over the weekend. And last and final question. Yeah, and last and final question. Well, in a way, well, whatever. Last and final question is what should, who should answer these questions next? Well, I'm actually going to tag, well, I don't know if you consider this tagging, but the next person who asked these questions next is I'm actually going to see if I can get my hubby to finally put a video up on his YouTube channel. What he does is 50 TMI tag questions. And I'm also going to tag my homegirl, Kimberly Rose. 
to do this video. I will leave her YouTube channel down below. She's also a YouTuber. I'm gonna chat, chat, tag one more time in English. Tag my other homegirl, uh, Kylie Ann Files. I will put her YouTube channel down below. And I'm actually gonna also tag my cousin and geek. I'm gonna put her YouTube channel down below. And BBW Sweet and Sexy 631. I'm tagging her also to do it. I think, yes, that's that's the people I'm gonna tag. It's probably a long list of people I could tag, but that's all I'm gonna tag. So you make sure I'm gonna put all their channel names down below. I'm also gonna try to link their channel names down below so you can just click and go directly to their channel. But yes, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like, comment, subscribe, or share this video. I truly appreciate you sticking with me through this TMI tag video. I know I sound super hoarse. I'm trying to get back better. Um, you can also check me out on You Now. I will be going live on You Now between today and tomorrow. I'm usually live throughout the day, so you can actually go and fan me on You Now right while you watch this video. I will put my You Now name down below. Um, my You Now link and name down below so you can actually fan me. Even though I'm not on there right now, you can fan me so you'll know immediately when I do go on to go live. We have a really good time over there. We have fun. We chat up. We talk it up. And we even do a grown and sexy broadcast on the weekends between Saturday and Sunday. But like I said, fan me and you'll know exactly when I come on. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'll put that Twitter name down below, which is the underscore frugal underscore chick. And I think that's it. I think that's all I want to tell you because it's getting dark because the sun is going down and I don't want to reach out a camera to cut my lamp on. So that's all. So thanks again for watching this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Like I said, I'll be doing another video uh, really, really soon. I hope I'm going to be doing a haul soon. I haven't in a while. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you have any other tags that you want me to do, please feel free to put them down below. And you can also check out a couple videos that I did on a joint channel that I have with my cousin that's called Cuzzy TV. And I'll actually put that down below as well. I know I'm talking about a lot of information down below. I know. But I'm going to get out of here. So thanks for checking me out. Once again, it's your girl Retro Pinky. Please subscribe to this video. Give it a thumbs up. And I will holler at you in the next video. And that's one of my homegirls say, two fingers to the sky. Peace.